of everything. 15 goals, 22 assists for 37 points this year. He's got 17 ground balls as well. As we are ready for our opening faceoff, controlled by Sacred Heart, won by Tristan Dowd, who came into the faceoff X 47 for 103 this year. And we Start are for Wagner and they felt that a lot this year. They've been outscored in the first quarter this year, now 33 to six. So the Pioneers looking to set a tone today. Another face-off win for Tristan Dowd. The Fogo has some room. Just hanging on to it. I think he's got a little glue in his stick, Randy. <laughs> but he, he's keeping the possession alive, which is great. He got it in the box, which is exactly what he wants. He's chasing some pretty He's good names some in Sacred pretty Heart big history. Names there. Mike Robel, Joe Segesi, and Mike Matt Gannon. And I want to hey, if we get to have a hit that we saw earlier from Wagner every single time, it that's just going to be lacrosse as you can see here coming up. Oh, that, he he just he was just asking for it and uh we're going to see if we have any more aggressive plays like that coming up in the game. Benjamin Stewart. See, that's a, you know, a nice school down in Florida, D2 lacrosse. Beautiful campus. Beautiful. What and brought you to St. Leo's? Hey, uh, we got, I have family in, in Tampa, and I was looking there when I was going to school, and it was, that was actually one of my top choices, you know, actually go play lacrosse as well. Um, but, you know, it worked out that Sacred Heart, just the, the whole environment worked out better for me and staying closer to home. We're glad we Long Florida. Island Lutheran. <laughs> we get a last second goal from their goal scoring leader, Drew Edwards, number 27 for the midfielder from South Kingstown, Rhode Island. He scores in the very final second. Michio with number 12 on the season. Came in with 10 goals and two assists. He's got a couple of Genos today. Genos, all right, Rand. You, you've been you've been reading up on your lacrosse terminology. <laughs> I like it. That looked like a kick, didn't it? Whoa, hit from behind. Foley. That's an easy call. Final thought for the football team. Seven o'clock Saturday night. Delaware, one of the sites of the great victories in Sacred Heart. Regular season history when they went down and beat a top 20 team, I believe, for the first time in program. Green, I, I love Wagner green. Probably one of my favorite colors. But why, why make it dark? Oh, it, it, it's got the nice white trim around it, but, you know, from a certain angle. It's dark, right? Wagner's, you know, they're putting their long pole to face off. They're just like, they're just hoping that they That's get the a bad replacement for Colton King, you know, who's been always our anchor for, for Sacred Heart throughout the years. But Cal, got to give it to Callahan there. That was just, you know, great IQ, and he just went for it. 153 to go here in the second. A scramble for this one. And the ground ball to Donovan Lacey, who is off to the races. I'll watch him go to the long stick. Mitty Way Sullivan deep into an empty net after disrupting the Wagner clear and sending it the other way into the open cage. He was in a good position. He didn't take the first shot, which I thought was smart. Usually, if you get in that position, you want to take that shot. But he just took the alley, went right with it, and had the easier shot right next to Callahan. You love the combo of power and Wagner finesse. has a little bit of esteem right now. They have the, they definitely have the, they definitely have the energy going their way. And a flag thrown here in the faceoff X. I don't know what could have been called there, at least for a penalty. Or, Looks like that. a procedure penalty. It's a delay of. Liljeburg from Morgan O'Reilly. At 306 of the third, number 16 for Lil Jaberg. He's got himself a three point day today, along with eight shots, three ground balls. Eight 
Eight six Sacred Heart. He's not, you know, he's not breaking you down with two moves and <laughs> doing a face dodge in front of you. He's just backing you down and then having that nice little step turnaround shot. If you're Sacred Heart, you got to find an answer for him, or you're going to be in deep trouble in the next, you know, minute twenty. He has four goals today on seven shots. Stephen Dwyer. In the second half by Wagner. The Seahawks outscoring the Pioneers five to one after halftime. The Pioneers are awarded the possession. Donovan Lacey on the restart. Wagner outscoring Sacred Heart here in the second half now. 7-1. The Pioneers looking move for... There. Just, he's, Wagner looks like a completely different team than they did in that first half. It's just night and day. Sacred Heart had a 7-3 lead at halftime. Wagner has outscored the Pioneers 8-1 here in the second half. They lead 11-8 with six minutes to go in regulation. And they're back in possession, the Seahawks are. Now a 41-point season for Logan Liljeburg. That was his 17th goal. Down by two, the Pioneers. And on the ground ball, Darren Meyer looking to go coast to coast. 